back to the very later. What up, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, world, Facebook? Everybody listen to the sound of my voice. I have a, a cool way for y'all to get free merch from us and support the channel at the same time. But this is all. You, this is what you got to do. All you got to do is, first of all, subscribe to the channel. Click. Don't cost you no money, right? Just click. Hit the bell. Yep, yep. Free, right? That's step number one. Step number two, leave a comment. It don't matter what you leave. It could be the letter C. It could be the it could be the fire emoji. It could be the crown. Whatever emoji you want to leave on there, just leave an emoji. Step three is up to us. All we going to do, we're gonna put you on the drawing that listen, you could put your name in on as many, as many videos as you want. The more videos you leave a comment on or emoji, whatever you want to leave, the more times you get added in the drawing. Right, you're gonna draw your name, and we're gonna send you the merch. Simple as that. Real easy. All you gotta do, follow those steps, and we will send you some merch. All right. Subscribe to the very latest. Subscribe for the very latest. Let me make it clear, no confusion. Anything I'm on, I abuse it. Gave y'all the realest, no illusions. Pound up the tracks, leave a lyrical conclusion. Lumped up, grimy flow, worse than a lunch truck. My niggas monsters, after that monster. Dollars of nothing. Riding my brother, I discovered you can't trust. Niggas lust over bitches, they crush. Envious ways, greed for riches. Drugs, blood, they system, lack of enrichment. So ambitious, you don't show discipline, nigga. Take what you tell me to the grave. I got principles, nigga. Talk too much, on your timelines and reels. It's a fine line between what you say and how you feel Actions, always a lot of truth to be revealed All these hymns doubt to me is better concealed uh, The element of surprise, they saw yours coming But they ain't know nothing about mine I'm let's, 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 talk, let's talk about, let's talk about something that's, that's a little we don't, we don't normally do too many hot topics like that mm. But I want to get into something real quick right. Khalees is Beyonce mm. Right? So Everybody know it was B-Day a few weeks ago. What was it, last week? It's About two birthday. weeks now? I guess so. No, you know, B- her album came out. <laughs> he said, out. was it her birthday? No, oh. her album came out. I call, <laughs> I, call it, yeah. I call it B-Day. But, I, but Beyonce drives is always B-Day. Uh, right? <laughs> so. Beyonce will come after you after that. She has a song. She, hey, whatever. But she got a new album that just dropped. Yeah, yeah you know, you, yeah, drop. you know what the you know when she represented the four horsemen on there. Yeah, when, when, she, when she got oh, when she, when she got the horse on there. Yeah, when she, the, yeah, four, yeah. When when the four horsemen. Yeah, when when the we, four horsemen. we we will get into the particulars of the album cover. The album cover. Yeah, when when he when he said when Trim told me that's like, oh, one of the four horsemen. Yeah. Okay. That Revelation. does look like it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but she has a song on there called Energy, right? And it, and and it was sampled, so the milkshake sample was taken to put into that song, right? That is a song that's produced by uh, Pharrell and Chad, the Neptunes. Mm. Um, so recently, Khalees had went on the internet, and she just went in off stage but i got off and i saw these retarded comments so let me just respond there were some good ones too but you know we'll get to those after so here's the first thing my hair is cute um (laughs) here's the first issue okay number one it's not even like i'm a human being so i get pissed off and i get ticked off right i'm an artist so i am as erica said i'm sensitive about my shit the reality is okay is that my real beef is not only with beyonce because at the end of the day she sampled a record, she's copied me before, she's done it before, so have many other artists, it's fine, I don't care about that. The issue is, is that not only do, are we female artists, okay, black female artists in an industry that we, there's not that many of us, right? We've met each other, we know each other, we have mutual friends, it's not hard, she can contact, right? 
Ash Nico, who's what, 20? She's a young white girl. She reached out when she freaking, like, it's just common decency, right? It's common decency, especially because, because, as so many of you pointed out, as though I don't know, but let me help you, okay? I know what I own and what I don't own. I also know the lies that were told. I also know the things that were stolen. Publishing was stolen. People were swindled out of rights. It happens all the time, especially back then. So it's not about me being mad about Beyonce. Everyone's like, a sheer old sheep. And I'm talking to the people who are obsessed and blind, just like, oh, oh, oh. like, it's so dumb. It's so ignorant. It's so ignorant. She's one issue because it was stupid and disrespectful and she should have at least reached out. But the real issue is the fact that the people like Pharrell and like Chad, who Chad really is like an amoeba and just he's spineless, it's a miracle he can keep his neck up. But Pharrell knows better. This is a direct hit at me. He does this stuff all the time. It's very petty, very, very, very. And the reality is, is that it's frustrating. I have the right to be frustrated. Why? Because no one had the human decency to call and be like, yo, hey, would like to use your record. Which, by the way, the reason I'm annoyed is because I know it was on purpose. This is not like some, oh, they were in the studio and it was, no, no, this was an on purpose direct hit, which is very passive aggressive. It's very petty. It's very stupid. And I'm going to say what I have to say. I don't mince my words. So all of you Beyonce fans, knock yourselves out. I'm not mad like that. It's not about me being jealous, jealous of someone using my song. That's the dumbest, most ignorant thing I've ever heard. Like grow up. I was not thinking about her or no one else, not even on no shade, just not thinking about living my greatest, best life as I always do. So it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that from one artist to another, you should have the decency and the common sense and the courtesy to call, reach out, a manager, an agent, anybody just be like, yo, heads up, this is what we're thinking, this is what we're doing. Even if you're gonna do it anyway, just common decency. Like I said, it's happened before where people at least had the, the wherewithal to be like, yo, using your record, we understand that like Pharrell totally swindled you out of your stuff. Just wanna give the respect because that's what you do, right? No, that's not what happened. So grow up, okay? I don't mince my words, I say exactly how I feel, when I feel it, how I feel it. I don't care who likes it or doesn't like it. It is what it is, these are facts, this is not opinion, okay? These are facts. So, I, I wanna know what Pharrell did, yeah, what happened with Pharrell. Little, Pharrell. I'm a little confused. <laughs> wow. So, uh, let, let, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me say this then. Let me say this, hope maybe, so this, so came out, I went on. I, I wanted to make sure to see whether or not she owned the rights, and she her name wasn't on there. But what Beyonce camp is saying is that basically, though she doesn't own the rights, Beyonce went and also gave her a credit, which is I forget what the name of it is, but it's a another way, a roundabout way to go to give someone a credit for an album for a song, right? So this rant is coming from that, right? Well, the, the rant is coming from the fact that no one reached out to her, really. The fact that a song was sampled uh, from her, but no one reached out. No one said, hey, like, if, if, if I know if I know Walt and Walt got a pain, I'm like, yo, Walt, I want to do that same painting, but I want to make it like this. I know, I know you sold it to such and such because you know you sold the painting and you don't own the rights to it anymore. But can I use that painting? You understand what I'm saying? Because you did, you did paint it with your heart, your blood, sweat, and tears. It's your favorite. I just wanted to highlight you so I can see if I can remix that. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So I only got a a few things about it like go ahead i could understand if if i if i collaborated with a few other artists to make something you feel me? to make it because let's be clear like she didn't make that record by herself right true she wrote it she wrote so it she wrote it all right yeah she wrote it all right bet, bet. so as far as producing the music on this is that her too? I'm I'm asking. I have no no like Neptune's it. Neptune's got their credit. If you look on if you looked on the on the original version of that song, that song had Pharrell and Chad's name on it. And a whole slew of other people. But Wow. So my my question is when she says that she doesn't have a excuse me, she says that she doesn't have a problem with Beyonce. But she does have a problem with Beyonce because this this is what it sounds like to me 
the record would have gotten made with with your okay or not. It mm-hmm. would have gotten made whether you were cool with it or not. No one reached out to you to let you know. But I'm saying, I, I would thousand percent agree with you when it comes to, in terms of like, hey, like maybe you want to give somebody a heads up, especially when you use their number one track, because that is the track that we all know Khalees by. Yeah. Right. But um, it's kind of like this, like in the NBA, I'm not this. For example, you can get traded at any time. You mm-hmm. feel me? There, and when you're when you're dealing in business, in music, and stuff like that, I feel like you're liable to happen. I'm not saying that her anger or whatever she's feeling is invalid, but to come at me, I don't think it makes sense to go at Beyonce. I don't think it makes sense to come at her because at the end of the day, I really just think this is going to give her some more juice, honestly. When you look at it in the long run, because people are gonna be like, "What is all this about?" Between mm-hmm. them two, most people know that song. When you hear that, when you hear that beat, you think of Khalees, you think of Milkshake, you think of Boys for Y'all, all that. Now, I haven't heard the Beyonce song myself. To be a hundred, well, did she remove it now? Did she, did she, remove, she, she removed it, it because she took the sample away, so she removed she removed that version of it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Allegedly, that's what I mean. That's what they saying. So, I'm, I'm. All I got to say, yo, is that if you don't even, if you don't own a hundred to it, and you don't have the rights to say that it cannot be used, I don't think going to the internet and letting everybody know about your discretion is for real. Like you letting everybody know, yeah, I got to beef with Beyonce, even though I don't, but I do. I'm saying it, it sounds like you talking in circles for real. Yeah, I think she was trying to say that basically, like, we know each other, right? Mm -hmm. So me and you know it, we kicked it. At least you could be like, yo, sis. You know, because the the thing about it is that the way the industry is, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not not co-signing nothing. I'm just saying what what I'm getting from her is that the industry is so small and it's not you know, a lot of like like the really really big stars. It's not a it's not it's not a a lot of them really like the original stars like Beyonce, uh, Mariah, like you know those those that circle. It's not a lot of them. So we know each other. We got we got mutual friends. You could reach out at any time, but you didn't and which i mean it's just like anybody else that is, that song is like a song is remade or done you know um what's the name um oh man why can i think of my name right now um the one who made through the wire uh, that sample Shaka Khan. Khan. Yeah, Shaka yeah. Khan hates through the wire because when he bought when he bought the song to Shaka. And then he didn't he didn't state the fact that he was she was gonna sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, he didn't tell he was gonna auto tune him. He, he was gonna speed her voice up like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So 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 she doesn't like the song because you didn't give me the common courtesy to tell me how the song was really going to be sampled. <laughs> and I cleared it with you because you the homie, you from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? You 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 you, you coming up. But you, but you didn't tell me how you was going to say. It. See, people, artists are sensitive about what they do. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And I think that that's what she's that saying. Is, that is valid. That is <laughs> very valid. I cannot lie. I cannot yeah. lie. You know, it, it's just. But, but Trent, what you, what you, what's your thoughts on that? Shoot, uh, I was more interested in the fact that uh, her and Pharrell got got beef. And she said that this was like, you know, an indirect attack at her. And for me, I felt like she was pointing at at Pharrell having aiming at aiming shots at her. That's Oh that's no, she said it. Yeah. So I was more interested in that because I granted, yeah, I coming to the internet and, and airing out your grievances and everything, the only thing it's gonna do is just call controversy. And again, but, at the end, Beyonce. But, but hold up, by one moment, on before that. I'm sorry, I'm, I am in the country, but but keep in mind though, she they 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 drag 
the internet dragged her into this. Granted, yeah. It's, it's not like, so right. I, I, don't want, I want to say that to you all too. It's not like, it's not like Khalees was like, yo, I heard it and now I'm about to, you know, come yeah, away. She, like, they brought her it. into this. Like, when the, and when the, when, when that, that, that beehive started, and I'm, 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 no pun intended, but that, when that, <laughs> That storm starts to stir up. It gets so big that you gotta say something. I yeah, I see what you're saying, but yeah, I, mean, but I was. I'm sorry, I, go ahead. Yeah, I was more interested. I was more. I want to know more about what what the heck happened between her and Pharrell because for, Khalees was one of uh, the Neptune's first artists. Like, I hate you so much right now. Oh, a lot yeah. of the Kaleidos- oh, album. Oh. That was. That was her and the Neptunes. That was like they. I want to know. I always, I always thought that they were like close, but I didn't know anything. I didn't know what the whole falling out between them was. So I was more interested in that because, like I said, I was just the Khalees way back back then. Like when she mm-hmm. first came out, and mm-hmm. I when first hearing that Neptune sound, I was like, wow, like what in the world? Mm-hmm. But uh, she got bossy too, right? That's, mm-hmm. that's her too. Yeah, that's her too. Mm-hmm. That's her too. That's her and the Neptunes. So, mm-hmm. like, they got history together. So I'm like, what happened? Because all of her, all of the album, the music that we've known her of, the, the Neptunes were behind it. Mm-hmm. So I really want to know what happened. So, mm-hmm. so I got a question. Oh, go sorry. Ahead. Go no, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, all right. So when. When so it's Khalees' point of view in the sense of like since I I understand now that the song was produced by the Neptunes, but I'm saying they produced it for her. Yeah. To my to right. So mm-hmm. now that they decided to give that song to Beyonce without letting her know. I mean oh well letting Beyonce sample the song yeah. without her know. She feels that's an attack on her. I didn't perceive it like that, but that's how she is receiving it. Do you believe it's an attack on her? Well, I'm gonna say, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I feel kind of that if she is it because it's Beyonce? I don't think it's Beyonce. I think it's something deeper. I think it's something between her and Pharrell. And I, and I part of me thinks that I think it is an attack. But I just want, want I that's why I want to know. I want to know what happened and why right mm. now I, I would say this a few, few things what one in the beginning Beyonce uh Khalees says people steal things all the time Beyonce yeah. is stolen from me mm-hmm. in the past remember she said that right am I am yeah. I lying I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember saying that, that. Said that. Yeah. Yeah. so that's already right there that's how you set up that's how you set the t- she said a tone. Said a tone. She said a tone. She said that Beyonce bit off her in the past. She ain't mad at that. Why? Because it's a sisterhood. That's what she's saying. It's a, you know, it's whatever. It's a compliment. Appreciate you. I, you know, hey. But, and this is attention to everybody out there who own labels, own production companies. I'm about to blow up. It's one thing you don't do. You don't sleep with your artists. Do not sleep with any of your artists. And this is allegedly what's going on with Pharrell and Khalees. Really? Uh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of figured that, but I was like, I still want to know. I still want to know the. Oh the no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm almost ninety nine point nine percent sure that this is what's happening. Mm. Was this post Nasir Jones? This is, this is, this is pre. Oh, yeah, yeah because I mean, this like is, I said, they were. She was rocking with them heavy. Like right. she was on the Clips album, dude. This <laughs> like is, this, this is, this is a, this is young, young. Pharrell and young, young Khalees. Mm-hmm. Whatever, okay. wherever, wherever Pharrell was, Khalees was right there. Yeah. They was, they, from allegedly, they, 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 they was, they was there, right? So we can go back to when we, like, when you start mixing feelings and start doing all that stuff, and then your, your, your heart get broken. 
people start acting petty. I'm coming back for everything. Very interesting. I'm coming back. I'm coming back for the for the detergent in 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 the uh, washroom. The toilet paper too. <laughs> I'm coming from the toilet paper, the the dry sheets. <laughs> Your ass cap and your publishing. <laughs> I want it all. Brand new socks and drawers. Wow. Like that. Everything. Mm. You get nothing. Because you because something happened there. Like you said, Trim, you're right. Something happened there. I know, I listen. I know what a man scoring and a woman scoring look like. And this yeah. is it. Dude, you're doing a forgotten gym. This ain't even official forgotten gym. <laughs> this is it. Listen. And, and, and hey, listen. Stevie Wonder saw this. Yo, that's messed up. <laughs> well, he, he, sees that, he sees a lot more, but, you know, that's my theory. <laughs> I, listen, that's just my, that's just my theory. I think Stevie Wonder mm-hmm. sees it all. You know, oh, he sees it. everything. But anyway. Uh, but yeah, that, that's what it is. You don't sleep with your artists. You don't mix. It's a few things you don't mix business with. And they was mixing the wrong everything. They was missing pleasure. They double yeah. dipping. You don't do it. You do not do it. And oh, that's what's happening. You know, and that that's but that's just what it is. And and Khalees, the thing about Khalees is she's she's a firecracker, man. She's very passionate about everything that she does. You know? And you just, you just, you just don't, you don't do that, man. So, you know, Pharrell, Pharrell has plenty of interviews that he was like, yeah, you know, I feel like artists should, should get their publishing and da, da, da. He, he said this. And Khalees mentioned that in her other rant when she said this, but Khalees, I'm letting you know. Yes, he meant all of that except for you. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> He meant all of that. He feel, he feels like all artists should get what they deserve, except for you. He don't care. He don't care if your kids' kids don't eat. That's what Nas is for, I guess. That's what he said, right? Oh, bloody! I'm just saying. I'm, listen, it, it, I'm just. This is how men think when they heartbroken. This is how it is. So yes. Pharrell around here wearing the top gallon hat, you know, looking like the man in the yellow hat from Mr. from um from uh Curious George. He mm-hmm, smiling. <laughs> he's smiling, he's kicking it with y'all. But he petty, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it is. I'm just I'm just telling you what it is, Khalees. Cause I love you, and I and now I understand. Cause I'm looking at I'm looking at this I'm looking at this live like yo, Khalees bad. Yeah, Khalees is bad. I understand why Nas was, was heartbroken. Khalees <laughs> bad. Khalees is bad. <laughs> Nas says she. I mean, hey, she is bad, but Nas, I mean, says Nas she's crazy. Oh, no, she's she got crazy. she got crazy eyes. She got Dude, crazy eyes. I she see. came out with a song. I hate you so much right now. She was yelling on the song. <laughs> Crazy. She was yelling on the song. But got Nas posing on the album cover with the wedding dress. Looking <laughs> real sad. Crazy. Life's good though. Yeah. That's what he said. But that's what it is, man. You don't the, the, the moral of this whole story is you can mix business with money, but you don't mix business with pleasure. Don't sleep with your artists, people. Don't sleep with your artists. Just saying.